am corrected, that was not Mr. Agnew. We have no identification for the people in that car. But this is Mrs. Mamie Eisenhower, and I believe Julie Eisenhower with her. Uh, Tom Jarrell, come in. Yes, uh, the motorcade is now moving out of the driveway, heading toward the southwest gate. It's moving very slowly, and the front car is uh, the President and Mrs. Nixon and their escort committee. Immediately following them in another long black limousine is Vice President and Mrs. Agnew, and uh, those uh, from the Hill that are escorting them. Everyone moving very slowly, getting the uh, motorcade in line. Uh, first, uh, the President's car. Immediately behind that will be an open... Uh, uh, convertible with Secret Service agents who, of course, uh, always provide protection for the president in motorcades like this. Immediately behind that will be the vice president's car and the vice president's Secret Service uh, detail. Then uh, in limousines trailing on around the circular driveway are members of Congress and members of the Nixon family, along with Mrs. Mamie Eisenhower, uh, all about to pull away from the White House now for the drive up to the hill. Well, that uh, stand there is where the Secret Service men and the police guard the gates to the White House, the white stand in the middle of the picture. Uh, we'll, uh, as this uh, procession begins, we'll have more on Inauguration 73 in just a moment, right after this message. The uh, presidential party is now passing in front of the empty reviewing stands, which will be full when the parade happens later this afternoon. And here is the procession now, uh, coming out of the White House grounds, out of the street next to the White House, and curving onto Pennsylvania Avenue. The building in the uh, rear there is, I believe, the Treasury Building. And... Uh, And the procession will take, uh, that, that is Pennsylvania Avenue it's on now, in front of the White House. That's the reviewing stand where the president will review the parade uh, this afternoon after he's been inaugurated and after he's had lunch with the members of Congress. Procession moving slowly past the stands that are directly in front of the White House. There are also stands on the right hand of the picture, but you can't see those. All these, it costs money to sit in these stands. And that's how they pay for this inauguration, which is supposed to be the most expensive inauguration ever, yet it won't cost any, any, uh, anything to people who are not buying tickets, medallions, uh, special license plates, and all the other things they're using to finance the inauguration. That's Mrs. Nixon. You can see her face through the... Uh, the president through the glass. There are places on the back, you can see the handles where Secret Service men are supposed to ride, but they're not riding today. The, uh, uh, here's, a, here's the route they're following. We've built this model, that's the White House there, the little white patch underneath white on that sign, White House. It curves it nicks around the Treasury Building, then it reaches Pennsylvania Avenue, goes out Pennsylvania Avenue until it reaches Constitution, where it takes that slight left fork. And uh, Roger Peterson is now at the Treasury, where this uh, procession is passing. Roger, come in. The President's car just coming into view in front of the Treasury Building. The folks who have been here since uh, shortly after 8 this morning getting an early view of the President. You can see Andy waving uh, just slightly to the crowd. Just a slight wave of the hand as he goes by past the high school band that's been entertaining us for the past 25-30 uh, minutes. The President now uh, heading up that uh, Stately Street, Pennsylvania Avenue, Capitol in the background, the phalanx of motorcycle officers uh, sweeping aside the few uh, passersby are still in the street and in the parade Frank Reynolds is following the president Frank Frank Reynolds uh, is in a car right behind the president's but we haven't been able to contact him however Virginia Sherwood is on the route uh, Virginia? 
Can we hear from you? Well, three blocks away. Very bad. Virginia? Hello there, yes. Here we are in front of the Justice Department. The presidential car is just coming up Pennsylvania at the other end of Justice. We're, of course, at 9th, and uh, it will soon be passing us. I have a hunch that the President and the First Lady are glad to be inside an enclosed car today. It's a lot colder, as Harry said earlier, than the weathermen thought it would be. Uh, the crowds have not gathered here at Justice yet. I think it's probably too cold and they're waiting. But there are bands standing by, emergency units standing by. And we're waiting now for the presidential car, the first car, to get here to the Justice Department. It is along the side of Justice now and coming our way. You can see it, the presidential seal there on the door. Crowds beginning, though, the, not those in the stands, but beginning to stand along uh, the street, those who perhaps could not afford a ticket, standing here waiting to wave to the President and Mrs. Nixon, and the whole motorcade now can be seen coming up Pennsylvania Avenue toward the Capitol, and the motorcycle escort now, uh, the motorcycle escort passing us in the presidential car, and let's go to my colleague Bill Zimmerman, who's up there at 3rd in Pennsylvania. We can just see the headlights of the motorcade as it, uh, as it approaches the point where I'm standing at uh, Pennsylvania and Constitution Avenues, the headlights of the motorcade. Uh, a rather thin crowd so far gathered here on this very brisk and chilly morning. Uh, a number of people have been here for an hour, hour and a half. Uh, are some of them wrapped in blankets uh, sitting on the curb for a a good view and now the lead motorcycles are approaching us here they're moving at a pretty good clip along Pennsylvania Avenue and when they get to where Pennsylvania and Constitution separate here they'll go on up Constitution uh, up Capitol Hill toward the Capitol moving right along a phalanx of motorcycle policemen in the lead coming by our intersection now and uh, now the cars themselves. President, uh, President going by now. Bill Zimmerman at uh, 4th and Pennsylvania Avenue. Well, the President should be arriving at the Capitol in two or three minutes, but meanwhile, we'll have more on Inauguration 73 in a moment after this message. While all that assembling and driving was going on from the White House down toward the Capitol, we've been having a very good band concert here by the U.S. Marine Band. Played a lot of favorites I haven't heard in a long time. But now uh, reality in the form of the presidential motorcade is creeping up on us. And at the, the final point on the route, I think we have ABC's Ted Koppel. Moment, the, uh, at this very moment, the motorcade is making its way towards you into the Capitol grounds. Uh, whole vanguard of motorcycle policemen have just moved to the side and now the presidential parade itself is moving in the president's car the vice president's and just off about hundred and fifty yards behind me is the uh, salute gun platoon which in a few minutes at noon after the president has taken the oath will sound off the twenty one gun salute they'll do it in the space of one minute and they're going to be firing what has been described to us as converted world war two anti-tank guns now back to you, Harry. You can see the motorcade on your screen coming into the Capitol grounds, and here's Herb Kaplow. The president's limousine is approaching the entrance of the Capitol building, one level beneath and behind the inaugural platform. Mr. Nixon, I believe, first arrived here in... 1942 when he served for a brief period as an attorney with the old Office of Price Administration and of course entered here as a member of Congress in January of 1947 as a newly elected congressman from California. Mr. and Mrs. Nixon followed by the Congressional Joint Chairman of the inaugural committee, Senators Cook of Kentucky and Canada of Nevada, now in the building making their way upstairs where they will stop briefly before emerging on the inaugural platform 
which is superimposed over the Capitol steps in the Capitol Plaza. Well, the principals are out of sight.